How did you handle an angry customer? This is often asked to judge how well you manage conflict when faced with difficult situations. The interviewers are seeking examples of real life scenarios to demonstrate how you are able to think on your feet, find a solution, and maintain your professionalism. Avoid saying that you've never had this happen, but rather relate it to a situation in which you exercised conflict resolution. Show how you took the initiative to implement a solution without having to escalate it to your manager. We'll show you an example of what not to do, followed by an example of a good answer to this question. Tell me about a time when you experienced an angry customer and how did you handle it? Well, when I was working as a sales associate at Walmart, a customer came in looking for a specific product. It's a busy time of the year and we were out of that product. Uh, when I told her this, she got angry and vented her frustration on me and the other employees. I told her there was no reason to get angry and to calm down. I, it wasn't my fault, there's nothing I can do about it, so I didn't want to deal with it anymore. I just went to talk to my manager and have uh, her deal with it. Uh, she ended up lo leaving looking disgusted and we never saw her again. And I went to tell other employees about it and we had a good laugh. That answer didn't work. Here's why. He avoided conflict instead of solving the problem. He didn't listen to the customer's concerns. And he tried to escalate the problem to the manager without trying to solve it himself. Now, let's look at how he could have done better. Well, when I was working as a sales associate at Walmart, a customer came in looking for a specific product. It was a busy time of the year, and we didn't have any of that product left. The customer was angry and vented their frustration out on me and the other employees. I knew I had to find a way to calm her down and find out what I could do to help. I took the customer aside, listened to her concerns, validated her frustrations, and apologized for the inconvenience. Through our conversation, I learned that she had difficulty finding transportation and wouldn't be able to get to a store to find the product. I presented a solution that we could call other stores, find the product, and have it delivered to our house the next day. As a result, the customer felt understood and told me she preached my effort despite her initial reactions. Later that day, my manager pulled me aside to recognize my people skills and my ability to deal with difficult situations with professionalism. That was a good answer. Here's why. He explained how he resolved the issue, showing problem-solving skills. He listened and validated the customer's concerns. He showed that he could handle conflict professionally. And he described the situation using STAR, Situation, Task, Action, Result.